Welcome to today's lesson about win or lost opportunity. Uh, there's a wizard in the system to quickly create an opportunity into something that you need in the next phase. I've created a uh, test opportunity already into the system. I'm going to quickly pull it up and show you what I, well, kind of what I did there. There's has a, has a code in there. Go to opportunities, go to the hamburger menu, CRM, and then opportunities. If I went too quick. As you can see here, create an opportunity that says uh, to show one or lost wizard. I'm clicking a little bit on this uh, menu, and then I'm gonna uh, basically say uh, view and edit the primary quote items. So what I did, I did add a quote to it, and that quote has a product on it. And the reason why I did it, because that will show you in the next phase what it can happen uh, with this one. It can be, become a billable item. As you can see here, here it's equipment. I just put $1,000 in it, just as an example. Now going back to the opportunity, there's uh, two ways that you have uh, to basically do it. It's one or lost opportunity. I'm going to first show you to uh, lose the opportunity. It's uh, whatever reason uh, the client didn't, uh, didn't uh, want to have it. Then I'm going to show you how to change it back into an active opportunity. And then we're going to do the one opportunity. And that's where the other items will fall into place. In this case, you're going to press on the lost opportunity. And like I said, it's going to be a quick wizard uh, that helps you quickly go through a couple of items. And that way you don't have to fill in all, uh, all yourself. So here uh, we have already the, the default uh, items. Uh, it pulls it from the opportunity states. I always leave it at the states where we left it off. So in this case, I just said that we had a proposal sent. I probably call back saying, well, I don't need it. Or client send an email saying I found something else. That reason you can always copy on your opportunity. So you have a track record, but I leave the states in the same one. Leave basically all this information that it pulls it from the opportunity itself, I leave it there. What I do uh, change here on this particular date, uh, the data, well, the last date should be on today. Uh, at the date that you do it, you should be there. And then you have the last reason uh, that you can put in there. In this case, maybe it was a, a poor qualification. We tried to sell something to the client and he just didn't need it. So in here, you say poor qualification. And then here's last reason details. This is something that you can configure. Remember, uh, we had a different uh, video where we explained these kind of settings. I will kind of quickly open up the setting. And over here, uh, when you go to the admin section, you go to system settings under the block of CRM. That's where you can control uh, the require for the reason. In this case, I set the reason only and not the reason detail. Uh, so in this case, you have at least some way of, of uh, getting some data, but you can even put it to do not require. So going back to the uh, uh, wizard, in this case, I just put in poor qualification and nothing in the details. By doing so, I have at least a reason. And if I want to later on want to track why did I lose uh, so many opportunities, then I have some reasons in the system. These default reasons are there. I believe you can uh, add a couple of them more if you want to. But again, less is more. So, and what we've seen is that uh, these, these reasons will, uh, will suffice for the, for the particular uh, purpose. The next step of the wizard is where you can identify uh, more people. Uh, if you have a small team, then everybody knows. But if you say, hey, I, have a, I, have a, I need to let my, my account manager or I need to let my account team, here's quick ways where you can uh, let people know. There's also a way to modify this uh, notification that goes to those people. So you can make it as nice as you want. And this is where indeed where you select which notification needs to be selected. Right now we only have this one in the system. In another section we will explain you how to mix those notifications. And you can create a notification that's really company specific. You can put a little big sad face for example in there saying yeah we lost this, uh, this deal. Then you press on the bottom here. You press next. Basically you get a quick summary. And when you press finish it's basically it's done. And you can press here close again uh, on the setting. Um, it pops up in a quote and for sure the quote stays, but if we go back to the opportunities and we would press search, it's still there. It still has the stage three of uh, the proposal sent, so it might uh, look like an active one. Um, we say here on the status and we say active and we would search, then nothing would pop up. And this would be a kind of default way. You only want to see your active opportunities. So this opportunity is RWQ. It's not anymore in your pipeline. It's the quick set as a last. And uh, now you need to focus on the active ones. 
Now I'm going to show you how to kind of reverse it. Could be that you selected the wrong one. In this case, of course, I want to use the same opportunity for uh, for uh, showing you the win uh, win wizard. In this case, I'm going to edit the opportunity, but it could also be that you made a mistake and that it didn't need it to, to be changed. So how do you do that? You go to the opportunity and quickly see where that is. And it might be that in this template, uh, it's not available. I can quickly go to the standards category, the template. Usually that brings up a couple of more fields. And then you have the ability to modify uh, more data of the of the opportunity. So it's reloading into the new the new widget. And indeed here, now the status is there available. And it has a little set phase two already by default in the system. Um, I'm going to put it, put it back to a, making an active one. And I press save and close. Now, of course, when this search pops up with the status lost, there's nothing. So we go back to active. We press search, and now this uh, this opportunity that I marked originally as a lost opportunity is now back as an active opportunity. We corrected our mistake, or in this case, now it's ready to uh, run the new wizard. So now we're going to create it as the one wizard. We're going to go to those systems. That is basically one opportunity on the little hamburger menu, and now it goes to wizard on when you're winning it, and it looks pretty much similar as. Um, is what you do with the last opportunity has just a couple of more details. So again, here at the big beginning, it becomes a uh, it pulls the data from the uh, from the system, and here you can see that the state is now set to stage five closed. That's something that we set in earlier when we have a one opportunity. We always put it to stage five. So that's something that is being changed already by the wizard. You don't have to do it yourself. The win reason again, you can change those uh, win reasons. Uh, let's say it's because you had a, you had a great uh, price. We win on price in this case. Again, going quickly to those system settings, also for the for the win reason, uh, win or one. Remember, it's being a little bit uh, used uh, multiple ways. Again, you have the option to either way do not require, require reason only, or require reason and reason detail. We advise to just use the require reason only. So that's why you say price, and you have here even an option of a purchase the order number. Uh, if the client gives you a PO, then you can already uh, manually enter that PO in here. You press next on the next button, and here you can see there's a couple of little more, a little bit different items. By default, when there is a, a quote that has product, by default it will create a ticket in a post sale queue. In this case, you also want to have the associate opportunity with existing ticket. No, you want to have associate opportunity with that ticket that's being created. You can see here, say here, create ticket in post sale queue. It creates you kind of a separate one. But by default, when there are uh, equipment, then it creates a ticket. And I'm going to show you. This one you will be using to create a ticket in a postal queue when on the opportunity there was no equipment uh, listed, uh, but you still want to have a record. Maybe there were some services. Uh, so you want to have a ticket created that uh, will kick off maybe a, another process to enable those services, or it will gather some information and then it will hand it off to a project. So that's why you can easily use this button to create a ticket. You can set a couple of, uh, of parameters for the due date and the due time, the title. Uh, we usually uh, copy the entire uh, suggest title to the description. So you always know where it kind of came from. And then uh, you can change the, the title to basically maybe just the title of the, of the opportunity. So you quickly know, okay, those ones belong together. In this case, I'm going to uncheck that box. I'm going to leave it to, uh, to basically creating a new ticket. As you can see over here, ticket charge on new ticket. Ticket will be set as complete. And there's also the conversion options here to convert always the products and the shipping and the charges. Shipping is grayed out because there was no shipping on the, on the quote. Once you have it, it will convert it. So this particular section, by default, it will enable what it finds on the quote and it will convert those items to the ticket and then it becomes a billable item. On here, you also have those other options to convert the quote items into, into different uh, items. Um, if I would uh, do this one, then you have the conversion button uh, here. And you can see now ticket charges go to the postal ticket and not to the other ticket. See how quickly that changed. If you have uh, project charges or contract charges, it will be there too. And you can even apply, uh, because that's when services, you can play the contract charges on an existing contract. So that's why you can create a ticket, even combine it to a contract. 
we usually use the, this one, the ticket charges on a new ticket and the ticket will be set as complete. Go to next. In this case, it, uh, the, we didn't have any information on the, on the company. It's fine, it still asks you for that information, but you can move forward. Over here, it still wants to map the equipment with a, uh, with a uh, material code. Uh, once you do that, it will remember it. In this case, I will just put it as taxable products. Also, this, up to, oh, this widget has a several fields to inform people. By default, not has been filled out, but you can, uh, you can do more. Here is your notification template. You can select people, re uh, load resources, or even just whatever, e e uh, add emails from here. At the end, you can get the quick uh, summary of the actions, kind of trying to verify if everything was, uh, was fine, if everything has been set up correctly how you want it. If that something is wrong, you can always go back. And also, if you did this uh, whole wizard thing and for some reason it went wrong, you didn't uh, select the proper ticket creation or those kind of things, you can always run a one opportunity uh, wizard again on an, a closed opportunity. You just need to change your parameters on, uh, on what has been uh, searched for the opportunity, find it again, and you can run that uh, wizard again. I'll show you. In this case, we press finish. Uh, don't click quickly out of this box because right now Autodesk is running some process on, on the back end. It creates the, the, the sales order, creates a new ticket, and already here you can say run the close uh, wizard from the beginning. Uh, but usually at this moment you don't know something went wrong. And here's also the option to open up that new ticket. And that way you can go into the ticket and modify it. I could go back to the settings and I would say, hey, give me all the active opportunities. And I search for it then of course it doesn't uh, pop up because it's not an active opportunity anymore. It's now a one opportunity. We can go to the last, should be nothing there. And now we go to closed. In this case, that's where the, the one opportunities are listed. And look over there. And that's where the opportunity that I just created uh, is now there. Let's see if we can quickly find uh, the ticket again. The ticket for this particular closed opportunity. It's on the unknown company. It uh, by default it says closed opportunity for unknown company. You can edit this one and, and uh, make it a little bit more beautiful and how to modify tickets and everything. That's going to be on a separate uh, video. But this is at least what I wanted to show you that on the tab charges and expenses. Here you can find that equipment uh, for the $1,000 and now it, it becomes a billable item. Uh, other video where you have approved and post charges. Because you went through this process, now this $1,000 is available to be approved and post and can get to invoicing. And however your structure goes there, uh, you can bill it uh, upfront or later or in, in portions. But now this particular charge is ready uh, to become a billable item. You don't have to uh, type anything over. You don't have to cross-reference anything. It basically goes all automatic using this, uh, this win uh, opportunity, this wizard. Um, what I want to show you too, this opportunity was now one. You still have on the on the little hamburger menu and you still have the opportunities to to go to one opportunity and last opportunity to go to those wizards again so uh, there's still a lot of stuff to do there's an opportunity history lots of data that you can still uh, review but i think this was in high level the overview of uh, how to win or lose an opportunity what settings you have to uh, look out for and what settings you need to change and if something goes wrong how you can go back i think this is a Good way of uh, concluding this lesson of the win and the last opportunity wizards. If you have any questions, post them in our Facebook uh, group comments. Thank you.